How do you treat computer vision syndrome? Well, the treatment of computer vision syndrome is first and foremost education, uh, so that the patient understands uh, what computer vision syndrome is, and that's related to a low blink rate, which causes a dry eye, which causes a secondary inflammation or rawness of the eye. So firstly, educate patients to try and take breaks so that they blink. Uh, if that's not effective, then uh, patients who have this syndrome may consider uh, looking at the office environment in which they work in. They may work in a very dry air-conditioned office, uh, in which case it may be appropriate to look at the humidity of the area that we work in because, of course, the drier the environment, the more the tears will evaporate. So I think that's the second step to look at the uh, humidity of the environment they work in. Uh, it may be as simple as if somebody works next to a radiator, that they move away from the radiator uh, because uh, it's hotter by the radiator, that'll cause more evaporation. If that's not successful, uh, patients may then uh, consider using artificial teardrops, which they use throughout the day uh, to make their eyes more comfortable. Uh, contact lens wearers uh, may look at the type of contact lens. They may want to see their optometrist to look at the type of contact lens that they wear to get a higher water content contact lens, uh, because that may be helpful. Uh, because we commonly see people who come to us because they've become contact lens intolerant. And when we talk to them about what they mean by the fact they can't wear their contact lenses uh, effectively anymore, it's very frequently because of uh, they have computer vision syndrome. Uh, and in fact, it, it's quite a common uh, reason uh, for people seeking uh, corneal laser refractive surgery uh, because they have become contact lens intolerant. Uh, and even with the steps I've just described, they can no longer wear their contact lenses. They can maybe wear them for six hours, eight hours, instead of all day long. Uh, and if you're a young person, um, it may be that you want to seek a surgical solution for that. Because these patients don't have fundamentally dry eyes, it's just that the computer vision syndrome and wearing the contact lens on the surface of the eye uh, exacerbates things because we need more tears to wear a contact lens than we do not to wear a contact lens. Uh, some of these computer vision syndrome patients are fine if they're not wearing contact lenses, if they're wearing their glasses, but in their contact lenses they're symptomatic. So logically if you then perform corneal laser refractive surgery on them, once the eyes have healed that should improve their computer vision syndrome. So there's a spectrum of very simple to even surgical solutions for patients with computer vision syndrome.